Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I knew that if I was very patient and I hunted hard enough, I would find the solution to the stems of artificial flowers into a glass vase. And for all of you who know me, you know that I do not like that look because it just doesn't look natural. Well, I've looked for quick water, I've looked for artificial water, for crystal rain, for all of the products, and they're not all available. I'm not saying that there's nothing wrong with them, I'm just saying that I was unable to find them here in New Zealand. So I went looking, and I'm so happy because I found a resin, which is a two-pot mix, and it is Perfect. Now it's a deep pour, which is the one that I got, which oh, it's just fabulous. So these are the things that you need. You need a flower or you need flowers. You need a container, a vase, whichever kind of vase is gonna fit, fits or you wanna put your flowers into. You need a mixing jar and you need a little stirring stick or spoon. Here is the stuff that I am talking about. I've got the link down below will give you the notes and the name of what the product is. Fantastic, just remember deep pour and you'll be set for life. You also need some isopropyl alcohol which is for your clean up or white, I think there's something else called white alcohol or spirits, you can use that as well. And a couple of weeks ago I did the Peony Floral Mist, or I did a floral mist, so we're going to use that to mist onto our flower once we have finished and it's going to just take the whole illusion of being fresh and looking like fresh. So tip number one, when you get your get your flower and you're going to need your vase, Hold on, let me just put that in. So get your vase and I just want, wanted this little flower to just rest on the top but depending on what you're doing you're going to have to get your sort out your lengths before you begin. Okay, taking those two off and then just do a wee test just to make sure that yes, that's going to be perfect and is that going to be perfect in there. So do all your fiddling around at this stage. The next little tip is all of your cut stems, I'm just going to cut that off there, anything that you cut you're going to need to seal it with a little bit of hot glue and if you can find another leaf or anything else that you want to put just do all your fiddling around now okay glasses on as I said you've got to seal the end of your flower or your cut now the reason you're going to do that is because sometimes the rust or the colouring and the the rust of the or the stem will go rusty and that will taint the liquid or the artificial water once it's done. So just do that first and I'll just do this one here. Just a little, just a tiniest little dab. Taken me a long time to work this one out. That can just, I'm just going to put that in there so that that glue doesn't go anywhere. And then I want to have this little leaf. Do I want that leaf? Yeah, I think I do want that leaf. So cutting that. Ugh. Do I want that leaf? No, I don't want that leaf. I'm not going to even muck around. So right, getting rid of those. Right, tip number two. Before you begin, warm your vase and warm your jug. And the recipe is two parts of A to one part of B. Now, if you heat both of your vessels before you start, have them at that nice and warm temperature before you start to do the pour, you won't get any bubbles. Well I didn't and I've done it like about four times so that's my little wee tip. Okay give me a moment to heat up both of my jars and then I'll be back and we'll rip into it and by which time the glue will be dry. Oh, so exciting this project. Okay as I said it's a two part process. Two parts of a to, to one part of B, you're also going to have to work out how much fluid you want to put into there. You don't want very much. I've got like about an inch in there and that was that's pretty much all you need to be perfectly honest. Okay, so here we are. Into mine I need 125 mils. Where's my mils? There we go. And whatever jug you use, make sure that you don't use it for anything else. So that's 150 mils. 
and you just have to, this is where you have to be just a little bit careful with what you do, and I'm just going to check my measurements to make sure that it was. Yes, it, oh sorry, it's 150 mils is what I want in here, yes I am right. I was a bit afraid of this, and there have been a few disasters, but at least I've got it sorted. And pour it in really gently, so that you don't get any bubbles. And then I'll just, the other thing is using the isopropyl alcohol to clean up anything is a good idea, because we don't want a mess. And this here, you should be wearing gloves with this too, but I found that I didn't need them. But, you know, safety first. Okay, so put that to one side and then just checking that I've got this right and then take that up to, to, what did I say, take that up to, just making sure that I've got it right, make sure, check, 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 to 250. Yes, right. And then that just gets into there like that. And now what you have to do is, just give that a wipe, Stir for three minutes. Right, getting rid of all of this. Safety, safety, safety. Right, you've got to stir for two minutes or three minutes and try and not get any bubbles into there because the bubbles are going to, whatever happens in here is going to be reflected into your glass vase. So the more stir stirring you do and the least amount of bubbles you get, the better it's going to be. So I'll just be quiet now for a couple of minutes, which will be hard while I do the stirring. Right, after you've given it a stir for three minutes, get your vase that should be nicer and warm, and then we can proceed into it. Oh, so exciting. One moment. Three minutes of stirring can be a long time, three minutes. Nice, warm vase. Stirring one more time. That can just go down onto there. And then I've got to get my glasses because I've got to get this right and then just very gently pour that. Oh, oh, I'm loving it. No bubbles, no bubbles, no bubbles. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay, and it looks a little bit cloudy from your side, but it's only because I've got it on the white here. And you'll notice that I'm working on paper and I'm actually working on a tray because when I move this from the surface to put it, to set it aside, it has to be left for a good 72 hours to completely cure off. And the longer you leave it, the better. Okay, the next thing to do is to just put my stems into here like so and you can just you've got a few minutes of mucking around here done I am so so happy and then the next little tip once that's done as I said 72 hours longer up to a week until it's fully cured and then a little bit of floral mist onto my flower and that's going to look beautiful in my bathroom or it will make for a gorgeous gift. I hope you've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed the whole process and believe that my whole floral designing is going to go to a whole new level. See you again another day.